All right, so let's... Hello. <laughs> so these guys are... Um, I believe their scientific name is Motherfucker? Whoa. I was hoping to f see where their skeleton was going, but I don't... I don't know where it went. They're, I think, dog skeleton? Beast skeletons? I don't know if they have an official name, but they're sons of bitches. Oh, that was an unintentional pun. Um, they are very aggressive, is the main thing. Yeah, you can hear him panting like a dog. Oh, and there's a black knight. Hi there. Didn't, didn't expect to see you here, actually. I want to backstab you, but it's getting a little tricky to do things like that. There we go. All right, now where were we? Got that archer is a jerk. I would love to take care of him before I take care of these dogs, but I don't think that's possible. So let's kill this thing. You really don't want to have to deal with two dogs at once. They're, they are really aggressive. They will not give you time to breathe. And you can see they have pretty high stagger resistance, or at least one hit from my light attack and will staggering them, which automatically means high stagger resistance. Luckily, everything in here seems to be two-shot pretty easily by my weapon, because my weapon's great. Um, got some blue over there. Curious to check what that's all about. But, no path there. Okay. Ooh, and we've got... Split path here. This looks precarious. And I'm already running low on Estus. I don't like it. I don't like it. An effigy shield. What's that all about? I don't really know. I don't even remember that existing. Frightful occult shield. Defense against divine weapons and lightning. In an ill-fated plot to destroy the very gods, the followers of the occult once attempted to steal the power of Gravelord Nido, first of the dead. Okay, so this is a straight-up unholy weapon, um, specifically designed to mess with the gods. So, it might even be thematically appropriate for me to equip that thing, um, considering I'm using Nido's shield, uh, Nido's sword, but... Other than the really high lightning resist, which was uh, made to uh, combat Gwyn, not great numbers. Also, it's a faith requirement? That's weird, considering it's a, a really occult weapon. I mean, occult a, a requires a certain amount of faith, but it's like evil faith. Bonfire down there, don't miss it. Guess who missed it, like, the first every time they've played until this playthrough? Me. It's me. I've, like, I was looking around on the wiki, um, just because of reasons, and I was like, what? There's a third, there's another bonfire in the, in the Tomb of the Giants? And I was like, what's the deal with that? I never found that thing. And then I, like, never really got here again in a regular playthrough, because I always just quit after Ornstein and Smell. So I'm gonna, out of principle, I'm gonna go get that bonfire. Yeah, it's sneaky. Sneaky snake. I should have lied, I might have gotten this bonfire before, but... Also, don't forget, this respawns the dogs, and the other skeletons, but mostly the dogs. Come on, bud. Come on over. 
So I'm going to try to use my awesome shield to my advantage. There we go. That'll take him a while to... Re no, it won't, actually. I was thinking that'll take him a quieter while to recover from, because he's splayed out in the ground, but he doesn't have to get all the way up like most enemies do. So that's tricky. They've got a, a very short uh, refractory period. Chunk. Oh, that's two dogs. Two dogs for the price of one. Oh, oh, and that was fast. I should have backed up more. God, that was, that's a lot of dogs. There we go. There aren't any more dogs I'm missing, are there? Oh, when I kicked it. Oh, that's terrible. the only way down. It's steep. Some of these warriors and knights are getting pretty far down here. I applaud their efforts. Alright. So... You remember from earlier in this recording session? I don't know how many episodes ago it was, but um, when we're down in Ash Lake, we saw a big sea of blue and darkness and trees coming up and out. We can see down into the same area as Ash Lake. I don't think we can see Ash Lake itself, but this should tell you how low down we are. Ash Lake and Tomb of the Giants are the lowest locations in Lordran. Also, um, once we make this transition into bluer area rather than uh, orangish area, um, we no longer need a sunlight maggot as a life source. I'm not actually sure I want to equip it, unequip it just yet because I'm probably expecting to die coming up pretty soon. This is where the, the orange barrier was, VT dubs, um, by, by Lizard. So if you got down here before you placed the Lord Vessel, you'd be very sad. Uh, actually, I'm going to re-equip the maggot. All right, this is a this is a funky area, not just because of the totem poles, but like everything in this area is weird. Oh yeah, and those guys go down. You hiding, buddy? Are you just in this corner? I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, hello. Did you see these? You remember these motherfuckers? 
Remember Pinwheel, that boss that I died a lot to? You see these sm small creatures? What's up with these small creatures? So yeah, we've got multiple pinwheels just kind of hanging. We've got water down here, by the way. And we've got strange skeleton babies. Way before Bloodborne did it. So yeah, I try to stay out of the water as much as possible, because that's where the babies dwell. Ooh. Oh, one more. Oh man. Look at all these babies. That's so many babies. It's like 400 babies. I don't want that many babies. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the whole pinwheel nonsense, I'm not sure what's up. I thought pinwheel was like a specific guy who had a specific backstory that I speculated about. Um, but now he just has extra clones lying around, I guess. Also, White Titanite Slab lets you fully ascend uh, White Titanite. Or Divine Weapons, I should say. And... Oh man, I am not in good shape for what's coming next. This is the boss door. Um, and you're going to want some specific equipment for this. Primarily, you're going to want your Divine Weapon again. And uh, if you didn't have a Divine Weapon to begin with, you're going to have a bad time. Also, I'm expecting to die here. I'm just going to... I'm going to equip my Rare Ring of Sacrifice. And hold on to these souls. It'll be a level up. And then I'll kindle the bonfire when I inevitably die. Actually, I'm going to, since I'll be keeping my humanity, I'm going to use a humanity right when I get down there. So the reason you'll want your divine weapon um, is because there are going to be extra skeletons down here um, that are summoned by the boss in much the same way that the necromancers summoned theirs. Um, so if you don't kill them with a the divine weapon, they will respawn really quickly. And yeah, you took fall damage. So look familiar? We were here earlier, much, much earlier, when we got our prized weapon. You remember this guy? From the opening cutscene? So yeah, this is Grave Lord Nito, the first of the dead. Now honestly, he's just kind of chilling in here. He's not doing anything wrong. But he has a uh, fragment of the first flame, so we gotta kill him. Also, he has that. Um, you remember he, he gave us like a spell or a miracle or something when we first joined the Covenant. That's his version of it. The Gravelord dance or something. I don't know. It can... When he screams, it'll pop out of the ground. And wow, that's doing jack. Okay. All right. That's doing butts. Should, uh... Re-equip his sword. I'm actually going to... Whoa. I don't know what just happened. Okay. I'm probably going to be slower now, 
No, I'm not. Awesome. Okay, I don't need the bow for this fight, so... Yeah, that's much better. Still not great, but... And, yeah, his hitboxes, it looks like, are a little wonky. Um, because he has that cape. So, it looks like he extends a little bit farther than he actually does. You know what? I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna win this fight. See, so yeah, he's got an AoE spell. Um... If you got a decent shield, it shouldn't be too bad. And wow, that was a really generous uh, iframes there. Yeah, once you take care of his skeletons, he's actually kind of a chump, it looks like. If you're constantly um, dealing with respawning skeletons, this is a butt and a half, because you've got, like, four different enemies attacking at once. And I think there might even be more skeletons elsewhere in the arena if you... Um, if you let the fight kind of move around, but yeah, Nito, you're you're freaking double dead, bro. So yeah, let's check out his soul. That was really way easier than I thought it was going to be. I I built that up a little bit more than I should have, I think. Uh... Oh, here we go, yeah. Soul of Grave Lord Nito, first of the dead. This Lord's soul was discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Grave Lord Nito administers the death of all manner of beings. The power of this soul is so great that it satiates the Lord Vessel, despite the fact that much of its energy has already been offered to death. So I'm actually not super clear on how Nito works, considering that so many people are stuck with the undead curse. I don't know if he has a hand in that. Um, yeah, he's the one who, you know, he's the first of the dead. He hangs out with the dead. I think he has power over the dead in some vague way. I'm not totally clear. Um, but hey, he is, uh, he's gone now. But in my sword and in my heart, he lives on. 